So we have a, a fantastic footprint in this Canada, in this country, as a, a Canadian homegrown success story. Uh, we deliver capability that services the Royal Canadian Air Force across multiple platforms, everything from the C-130J fleet, the Chinook fleet in Petawawa, to the new fixed-wing SAR search and rescue aircraft that is uh, about to be delivered over the next couple of years in Comox, BC. We also deliver sustainment and in-service support capacity to the F-18 fleet with our team in Mirabel. Uh, we deliver in-service support capacity to the Cyclone Fleet and the Maritime Helicopter. You're also involved in the Sky Guardian project? We are, yeah, and, and in fact uh, you'll see a Sky Guardian booth uh, set up to support Canada's RPAS uh, program that is hopefully going to be uh, announced in the, in the coming days and coming weeks. Uh, certainly we're partnered with General Atomics, MDA Corporation and L3 Westcam to deliver a world-class capability to meet Canada's UAS requirements on the RPAS program. And also they've announced the Cormorant Midlife Upgrade, you'll be involved in the training program with that? A absolutely, so working with Leonardo, uh, we we're very excited to see Canada's announcement last week on uh, going forward with the Cormorant Midlife Upgrade program, looking to extend the Cormorant fleet. And certainly as part of that program, uh, Canada is looking to bring in as an internal capacity here in Canada, a new training system to support the air crew that operate the Cormorant fleet. Where, where do you see training going in the future with the increase in technology and synergy? Well certainly for us as a, as a business model we've come a long way from building simulation technology and just simulation products and today we view ourselves as a full scope training system integrator and that what that means is really the ability for us and our worldwide heritage and experience to work with our customers hand in hand to deliver a full training system to meet their complete training requirements and that brings the best of breed of things like live aircraft and live assets, simulation technology, courseware, e-learning media into a comprehensive solution to deliver again their full scope training requirements. You do air and land training for the Canadian Forces? Uh, we do uh, air training and certainly we work with the Army and the Navy on other programs beyond just training and again I go back to our heritage and in-service support and sustainment where we deliver that capacity to the Canadian Air Force, Canadian Army and Canadian Navy. And the future combat aircraft? Future fighter, we're very keen on seeing what uh, unfolds over the coming months as Canada makes final decisions about that future fighter program and the future procurement structure surrounding that acquisition. For us, again, we have a strong play in both delivering the future training requirements to the Canadian Air Force in support of the future fighter, as well as sustainment capacity, again, leveraging our proud heritage, working with the F-18 fleet and the RCAF in this country all the way back to 1988. And you've got a new partnership with flight training in Canada? We do. We joined forces with KF Aerospace, uh, creating the joint venture that we call Skyline Canada. And certainly, we have two main goals and objectives out of that joint venture. Number one is to look at the current pilot training system that we deliver through the NATO Flying Training in Canada program, delivered by us CAE, as well as the CFTS program, Canadian Forces Flight Training School, delivered by KF Aero, and to determine are there ways to make those programs better by by working together and we think that partnership is uh, really strong in terms of the capability we can provide the RCAF and of course we look towards the future and trying to say what is the future of pilot training in this country how can we deliver that together as a team and how do we create the best possible value for the RCAF to meet their future pilot training needs